Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Look at this. Look at this monster sitting here. Guys, what we have here is a 2020 edition, I think. So I've got all kinds of condensation on it. It's etched on the bottle here somewhere. I'm probably not going to be able to see it, but I, probably, my memory serves me. I think it's a 2020 edition, but I'll double check that when we come back uh, because the way they do it, it, it's etched into the glass, and when there's condensation on it, you can't see it. Uh, well, why they would do that? This is a Monster Beer Guys Bourbon Barrel A Gingerbread Stout from Hardywood uh, Brewing uh, out of up the road, Charlottesville. That's actually Richmond, Virginia. Uh, they're saying here on the bottle, craft beer in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, and this is a corked and cage monster 750 milliliter bottle here. I think that's what it is. Uh, looks like it. Uh, let's see what it says. Spice milk stout aged in bourbon barrels. Or 11.5% alcohol by volume, 55 IBUs. So, again, I said it's almost not quite four years old. I think it was done in the fall of 2020. Like I said, we'll, we'll double check that when I come back for the final chug. But great big bottle, definitely enough to share, which I intend to do. My palate has changed so much in the last probably three years ever since my heart attack guys uh, I have backed off all these super heavy dark bur bourbon barrel beers and and all the bourbon that I have on the counter up there has just been setting up there collecting dust I, my I, my taste has gone away from that I don't I don't even care for it anymore so uh, it's changed it also makes your taste change if you want to get healthy so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I just find them too boozy and too sweet uh, for my taste now. But I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy it. I, I don't have them very often, so I jerked this one out and stuck it in the fridge yesterday. And uh, we're going to sample on a uh, an aged bourbon barrel milk stout. All right. Uh, let's jump over to Untap. Hardywood Gingerbread Stout described as beer advocates as free Freaking Christmas in a bottle. It is a pearl milk stout brewed with vanilla beans, cinnamon, fresh Castle Monte Farm baby ginger, and Barrel Farms wildflower honey. Gingerbread stout is then matured in Virginia bourbon barrels where it adapts an incredibly mellow character with oak, caramel, and bourbon undertone and emerges 12 weeks later as bourbon GBF. 12 weeks, 3 months. That's just no, 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 no. It would be much better if they leave it in there for a whole year, 12 months. Yeah, that's a ticket. Now you're going to get some really nice bourbon notes and stuff and some oak char and, and all that. So uh, three months is not long enough, guys. It's just my opinion. Uh, I would rather have something like this. It's already in the barrels. It's already taken up space. Give it the extra. Give it the extra. Or at least do some variations of it. If you want to do half of it, and go ahead and do it after three months and leave the other half for, for six months or nine months or 12 months or 24 months or maybe five years. 
Who knows? Maybe they're doing that. I don't know. But anyway, a festive blend of spice character laces this rich chocolatey stout, which warms the palate and soul. So we're still in winter time here in February, getting ready to flip over into March. Uh, that's all we need to talk about, guys. So hopefully it's not going to explode all over the place. I'm always leery of these corked and cage bottles. You never know. You never, never know. Because I, I have had them do that. Anybody that's watched me over the years has seen. All right, here it comes. Ready? Not too big a pop. Not too big a pop at all. All right. Here we go. 11 and a half percent. Does it have any carbon? It didn't have a big pop, so I hope it's still carbonated. I think we'll stand it. We'll stand this one up. Not much on the head head pour on this one. All right. That's enough for the other half to have a glass. I mean, I got a quarter finger of head, so not very carbonated. I, I take that back. It is probably proper, properly carbonated. It just didn't pour much of a head. Pitch black, guys. It is black as night. And the head has dissipated. I can see the beer across the top. So I hope it's still carbonated. We're getting ready to find out. Mm -hmm. To the nose we go. Yeah, that smells good. I mean, I'm getting gingerbread. I'm getting a little slight hints of some bourbon nose. Nice caramel toffee. Black molasses. Maybe even, uh, I don't say cinnamon, but there's ginger. Ginger and cinnamon. It smells good. I mean, it's it definitely got a, a, a nice sweet Christmassy aroma. Well, let's dive in and see what the 2020. I'm pretty sure that's the year of this one. Is all about. Cheers. That's a tasty beer, guys. I mean, definitely a special occasion beer. Mm. Special occasion. What is my special occasion? Uh, my special occasion would be I quit smoking cigars. That's a special occasion. Been. Two months now. I'll be extra cigars. I could probably start selling autographing cigars and selling them. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm gonna go sip on this. Be right back. It's a tasty beer. All right, guys, we're back. Got a little bit left here. Zero lacing is my thought because it didn't pour any head. I mean, you're not gonna. Get, if you have zero head, you have zero lacing. So that's how that goes. It's almost like drinking syrup, but not quite. I mean, it's not quite that thick, but it's 11.5%, so, I mean, this ain't no thin beer. I mean, it's definitely full-bodied, heavy mouthfeel, thick, uh, chewy, yes, everything, all the above, every box checked uh, for a heavy barrel-aged bourbon stout. So, and being a gingerbread stout, yes. And of course, everybody associates gingerbread with Christmas. So, we're doing a beer and it's not Christmas, guys. It's just something I wanted to jerk out of the closet. And I told you when I came back, I would look. And right here, in black, black writing. I thought it was etched, but it's black writing on this dark brown bottle with black beer inside of it. So how are you supposed to see that with the beer in there? And especially with condensation on the bottom. I don't know. It says right here, now that it's dry and all that, I can see it plain as day. It says November the 3rd, 2020. And then it has a time stamp underneath of that. Uh, so, not quite four. Just a little past. Here we are, almost into March. Uh, or at March and uh, 
I just want to pull this out because I had several of them. There are at least one or two more of these of the same version in there. And we'll leave them in there for another couple of years, maybe three, five years. And if I'm still kicking them and doing the beer reviews, maybe ten years. We'll see how that goes. And, and if I'm not, somebody will get to drink a nice tasty beer. That's how that goes. I ain't selfish. Well, I don't drink. Somebody else will. Final chug. <clears throat> Smells good. Nice and sweet. Gingerbread stout. Not something I would probably want to drink every night or every week and maybe not even every month. Not even every six months. There was a time that I would say, yeah, I could have this at least once a week. Not so much anymore. Too heavy. Too many calories in this class for this boy now. Now, final choke. I'll have to do a extra 50 shut-ups over that now when I go to the gym again. So, with that being said, well, this is still a super tasty, well-made beer. It's 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 an outstanding beer, guys. Uh, it's not my cup of tea anymore. It's in a very occasional beer, maybe, and I don't know if I would purchase it again, but that's just me, as I have several in there, and I have some other Hardywood beers in there. Uh, I'm probably good on stouts and that, uh, so you know, I'm more more than likely going to be pushing. 11.5% focusing uh, what I'm reviewing and purchasing with my money uh, is stuff a little less than 11.5% now. So with that being said, guys without rambling on and on and on and on, we'll jump over to Beer Advocate and they have it at 896. World class. And it is. It is a world class beer. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.31 with over almost 21,000. 20,800 ratings. So, they've been doing that a while and I enjoy it every time I squeeze the cork out of one of these bottles. So, uh, very nicely done. Very popular beer. Seasonal. So, grab it when it's available right before uh, Thanksgiving. I think it's when it comes out. You know, November 3rd. So, uh, You'll be looking for it usually about that time every year. So if you've had a 2020 edition or if you've had any edition, let me know what you think about the Hardywood bourbon gingerbread stuff. Till we meet again, hey, we got a whole bunch of tasty new beers I just bought. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. Yes. <laughs>